So, hey everybody, I am back working on the backfield, specifically working with my shed today. I've got some cool little projects I'm working on finishing up, so you know me, let's get busy. Come on, I'll show you what I got. So guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping in. Uh, show you what I've got going today. Um, as you know, when we started this, we built the main center section first, and then we added this lean-to, which is 12 foot on this side. Uh, then the next thing we did was I renovated my utility building, which used to be over there. We brought it around, uh, had to bring it through this pathway because it's the only place that was wide enough to get it through. Once we set this in place, then we did the lean-to on this side. So everything on this lean side is done. Everything over here is not. Uh, when I built this, I took a week off and built this and got everything done except for my trim. So yes, I have the drip edge up here, but I don't have any of the fascia boards up. I don't have any of the corner moldings. And so this is what I want to get accomplished today. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to put on these sideboards. And of course, this is an angle. I know from the cuts that I've done on the boards, I need to cut, get that angle, and that's an inch and a half cut back. So I'm gonna get a measure on my metal. I'm gonna do this cut first, and then I'm gonna put the board up there, and then I'm gonna have to mark and put it around here. And I'm gonna take that metal all the way down the side and, and cut it right even with the edge. And then after that, we will take our fascia board and we'll go over and why I wanna put this board, this metal on first, because I wanna take this piece all the way out past and cover that so all you'll see on this end is just the fascia board. I don't wanna see a fascia board with another piece of metal coming this way. So that's why I wanna do this one first and then we'll do the ones on the face. All right guys, I know the cut I need to make is an inch and a half back. And so I'm gonna make my mark right here. And then guys, don't laugh at my straight edge, but I uh, forgot to bring my square. I left it over at the house. So this, all I need is a straight edge. So this right here will do just fine. And guys, I am not a very experienced guy doing this, but one thing I have learned is that one of the best ways to try to cut a straight line, a straight line on metal when you're freehanding it like this is just cut a little snip at a time and just stay as best as you can on that line. Okay guys, I've got all of that in place. This one's ready to secure. And we use these uh, screws that are color coordinated matched. They have a little washer on it. A lot of people refer to it as a top hat and it has a rubber washer underneath. Well, okay, this is one side done. I've still got the corner molding to do. That will go on last. And I really need to go do the other side, but I'm going to kind of get out of order here just because I want to see how awesome it's going to look. So I'm going to put on one or two fascia boards on this end. These right here are already cut as a perfect fit. And all I gotta do is line up the corner and I can go ahead and start screwing these on. And you'll see a massive change from looking at the board fascia to the trim work here. Now, to me, wow, that's a game changer. Really dresses it up and just takes it to another level. Probably got way more screws in than I need, but I was putting them with every uh, roof truss, just kind of keep the uniformity. So uh, I like the way that looks and uh, screws are cheap. So anyway, let me go ahead and get one more up.
So as you can see, the hardest part, it's not that bad, it's just time consuming, is the ends because you've got to get your measurement up here and then you've got to work around this edge and then you got to cut your end piece. So you're making on just one piece of metal, you're making three cuts. So as you can see, um, I did the angle up on this end. I had to cut my notch out here and then I had to do my, my cut on the end so it will be flush with the end of that uh, truss. I have gone as far as I can uh, with doing the trim work. Uh, the piece like this that I need to install on the other side of the corner molding, uh, it is not cut correctly. Uh, no big deal, Max Kendall is fantastic. I know they'll take care of getting this fixed for me, but it is gonna require me stopping now and taking this back to them and letting them change the way it's bent uh, and made. Uh, so anyway, I will get that done and get back with you guys as soon as I can uh, to finish up this process. I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, I'm trying to do as close as I can to a step-by-step -step on installing metal roofs as well as doing all the trim work. So for now, guys, uh, you guys take care. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember here at Project Next, there's always one more. So we're going to have another one coming soon. So guys, I will catch you on the next one. See you soon.